Hello. Do you know what's wrong with the world today? Well, I'll gladly tell you. All right then. By way of an anecdote, something that happened to me. So, there's this guy I follow on Twitter. And uh, he's a man on a mission. He's got a passion for his mission. He's uh, smart, energetic, and uh, and there's a log in the way. Anyway, I replied to one of his tweets the other day, and shortly after that, my phone went bring, and that's my phone's way of trying to get my attention. It wants to let me know that I've got an email or something usually, but no. This time, I had a look, and, um, you know, this guy had favorited my tweet. Which I thought was pretty epic, but it wasn't much of a tweet, so I was kind of surprised. Um, but, you know, if you've got an Android phone, you know the UI is not that responsive or fabulous. And, and a Twitter app is, quite frankly, appalling. And it's very easy to accidentally fat finger favorite someone. So... I thought, well, it's probably just a mistake. Moments later, I notice he's following me. Well, that's harder to do accidentally. Now, obviously, it could be um, an automatic response. You know, he's a, you know, a media person. So he might have things set up to automatically follow back people who, who, who send him messages. I don't know. But I didn't really care. Because, po uh, contrary to popular mythology, Fluffy McDeath is, after all, merely a human being, and he gets excited when his hero follows him on Twitter. So I had to go and tell people. And I was at work, the only people to tell were colleagues. I went out of my office, grabbed the first one I saw, and I said, hey, Greg Pallas followed me on Twitter. And he said exactly the same thing as every other person so far I've told. And that is, oh, who, who's that? And that, my friends, is what is wrong with the world today. Nobody knows who Greg Pallister is. Huh. Now, you're thinking, oh, Fluffy, you're so lucky to have such a short list. <laughs> Don't get me started. Oh, I'll be happy to tell you, but, you know, come back another time. I'll let you know what I think.